Hey guys, today I'll be showing you guys how to read topologize in Blender using Retopoflow. There's many ways to use uh, to retopologize uh, re in Blender. There's the normal way where you just make a plane and slowly extrude from that and snapping it onto the model. But uh, we're going to go through how to do it on um, Retopoflow. And there's also other add ons that are great, like to Retopo Gun and also the inbuilt B surfaces uh, modifier um, add-on in Blender itself. However, the first thing we need to do to, uh, to be able to do re, uh, to, to use Retopoflow is um, we need to download it. So let's so when we quickly Google Retopoflow, we get a two links: the GitHub lib and the Blender market link. Uh, we have to uh, pay technically for retopoflow but if we just scroll down uh scroll down over to, uh, the demos and all that cool stuff we can quickly get to the place where it says student let me just search a student and teachers can download it for free at github click on the link and then all you have to do is just go press this green button and download the zip and let that download after that is downloaded, keep that as a zip and now we just need to innate, uh, install it onto our Blender. So we just go to add-ons and we have to go to this drop down, install from disk and we just got to go and find it. It should be in our uh, downloads, uh, not that one. Uh, let me quickly find it. It should be in this one but it might take some time. Uh, Retopo flow master dot zip, just click on it and install from disk and there you go it's all enabled so what we need to re uh, to retop re, 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 to do to do retopology is we need to uh, if we see our uh, this model that I will provide in the link uh, it's pretty dense it's um, also in triangles um, so it's just came out of sculpting uh, we need to do this to clean up the models because if we don't, if we put this in game engine, duplicate this a few times, it's going to lag it out or be very taxing. Um, yeah. So to start off Retopoflow, uh, we just need to, uh, as soon as you install it, you, you can tell that this is installed. Once um, this little symbol is up here, we can click on it. There'll be some warnings. Um, usually the warnings don't mean anything. But if it does mean anything, then yeah, it's it's bad. So because um, oh, I already have one going. Just uh, but what you want to do here, if you have one ready, you can edit the active. Uh, if not, we can uh, where it says start retop of flow. We can also press new cursor or active. Uh, the difference between this is pretty. I don't know, it's, it's the same basically. Uh, it just doesn't work if you don't have anything selected basically. So um, yeah, I'll just click active for this time and then it just brings you up, it will load in, give you some dr uh, <laughs> some windows that you'll see, a welcome message, stuff like that. Super annoying stuff, but um, I, you can uncheck this over here and press uh, escape and this will give you a new window where the most important button if you guys want to escape this is the exit button over here but I'll go through all of this um, in a bit as well so just uh, some quick things that hockeys are all the same with this uh, however what we can do here is we hit the tilde key this is the quick menu for all of the all of the basically here instead of having to drag over here we can just quickly mouse wheel select however we can also select them by one two and three it looks like yeah one two three four five six uh, knife is probably still k uh, knife doesn't want to work but as you can see we can go down by pressing one two three four on the top side not on the numpad uh, the first thing we want to check out is probably contours because it is the first one apart from select and to activate this guy we just need to uh, we need to go and hold control and just drag across uh, these ones are really really good as you can see it made a nice line through these are base um, of cylindrical models these are good to get your uh, the points where these guys need to kind of wrap around so where, where, where it starts doing the, um, the first broad strokes of it so for example another one would be over here 
uh, you wouldn't do it like that for example but um, the, the, these are where you want to put circles in the start of the necks uh, just to separate out uh, each part and flow um, flow of the topology of the model. This number at the top uh, indicates how many uh, vertices there are and if I do another one it will form a face for example of 16. Uh, to lower this number for example if you know how many counts you want uh, you can press the minus or plus button uh, like so. Uh, this one I want to uh, have 12. Uh, you can also hold shift and scroll up and down to allow you to quickly not need to leave the keyboard to, uh, leave your hotkey hand to press uh, minus and top but for this one I'm going to do 12 uh, and I'm going to get into a position where I can get another loop here so let's put another loop there and another loop there and that has really sped up like my work your, just in general workflow by being able to just quickly draw um, sections uh, uh, or uh, edge flows with um, with the contour tool. Uh, we're going to jump into it in next tool. So for poly strips, we can just drag. Oh, sorry. It's actually we need to let me just get it into a good camera angle. Uh, we can just hold Control and draw straight onto the mesh, and this will give us, for example, the same thing, but uh, with these little handles and from where we basically drew same uh, options apply so for example if I hold shift and middle mouse scroll up and down it will uh, it'll give me more vertices and also minus and plus but also we get these bezier candles where we can actually adjust these shapes a little bit so we can better fit these guys in to the model uh, if I were to uh, select one of these guys as well and just control draw out it will draw from that angle and as you can see that will give us uh, also a really nice um, a really nice kind of it follows this along as well for the next tool strokes we we'll probably need to separate these eyes out quickly so um, yes I need to escape um, so let's go to edit mode here and we can oh, go to object mode first select that and then highlight the eyes, highlight both eyes, press P and separate selection. And now we can probably make the eyes disappear. And we have a better view of what we're trying to do. We can also try to select these ones as well and press P selection. And now they should be separated as well. And this will be what it looks like. Um, but I'll just keep it in just for reference um, and we go back to object mode to get back into the quad retopper flow we need to go to edit active and that should get us back over there and what essentially we need to do to make a little eye rings for the, the character is we just press it hold control and kind of draw um, the rings that we desire so something like that and we're going to expand it a little bit uh, one two three four five uh, maybe i want uh, one two three four maybe six if i hold shift um i'll do eight um and then if we draw another one uh oh sorry draw another ring across it this will start off the eye loop ring and that's really really nice and remember in this tool is a little bit different once you have one loop we can actually push it and get more loops as you can see like so Ooh, but I'll keep it um, keep it the same for now Next I need to show you guys patches. So patches uh, is allows us to bridge things across. So um, this is also quickly done in Blender, but this allows us a little bit more control. So if we just select uh, and hold sh uh, shift whilst we select and shift select, as you can see that 
bridges just automatically and to and we can also keep on um, we can keep on going if we want um, like so but I'm gonna keep it like that because I think that's pretty decent and during this time you can also hold shift and middle mouse to keep uh, to make more edge loops and to confirm that is you either press F or you press enter which will um, set that into place Moving on to the polypen tool is same thing. You need to hold. We need to hold control to. Uh, oh, we let make sure let's des deselect everything with O A before we do anything, or it will drag along. But we can go and click a point here, click a point here, click a point here, click a point here, and we get a nice quad. And we can keep on going like so, and we get a quad. And we can make really quick. Uh, like very controlled shapes um, retopology with this and we can join it like so uh, back to the original um, like so uh, you can also change all of these tools have a little settings bar over here so if you just want quads only which is uh, what we're kind of doing uh, we can just go into quad mode and that should snap into place you can make the snapping better merge distance better etc as you can see, we're just kind of putting a tile as we go. And yeah, there's other uh, good settings over here that I forgot to mention, but there are like your general settings, which is your merge. Uh, there's your viewport display, which will show you all about uh, how how you want to how it, how you want it to show, like the green line, blue lines. Play around with that. Uh, selection options, target visibility. Um, pinning and seams, uh, target cleaning, but the most important one other than the tool one is this symmetry one. So if we were to, uh, this might not work, but we can s try it out. All we have to do, I'm just going to drop down this, uh, drop the, uh, drop this menu down. So it's a little bit more, but we press X. This should be processing. Now it might not work. As you can see, it has kind of fail. But uh, uh, a little bit, there'll be a warning symbol why it didn't work. But uh, as it's kind of a little bit off center, actually, if you look at it. Um, so, but yeah, that's the symmetry. But right now, I'm just showing you guys how to use the tools. Later on, we can um, uh, we can start off with symmetry already turned on. Uh, the next tool we have is a the knife tool, which is very similar to I would say the Myers knife tool, uh, where if I uh, I can start over here and create my own kind of geometry um, and things with this, and that will just set into place, which is a very very useful. Or just uh, the knife tool in Blender itself. Um, the next one, which you'll use a, t uh, a few times to make uh, cuts and just in general extra loops that doesn't flow correctly. But the next one we have is loops, which is really, really useful as if you hover over an edge loop, as you can see, if I hover over here, it makes a vertical line. But if I hover over this way, it makes a, uh, a, a vertical line. It, cross it cuts across it and makes a loop. And I just can easily smooth out sections as you can see by putting more geometry in there it's kind of conforming towards uh, the, the the mesh itself so that's a really quick way to um, to be able to make more um, more edge loops really quickly that conforms around the shapes and the last two tools tweaks which allows us to tweak each individual vertice uh, just a little bit. You can also change the brush size by holding, uh, pressing F, and you can move a few at a time. This allows you to manually place each one in a way that is more, um, more to conform to the shape of the model. Such as I would, would like to do something like that to make this nice smooth uh, curve and push this up. And then the last tool is a relax, which kind of sim it's similar, but it kind of does it automatically where if I were to make a big brush, it will average out all of the 
vertices out and smooths <laughs> does basically all of it for me <laughs> which is really really great basically and conforms to the model itself so of course doing it too much will keep on like it'll, it'll just force itself to push itself so eventually you might need to go in uh, j just say yes that's uh, how I want it and basically say um, that is the flow that I want but eventually it'll be too smooth and it won't move anymore uh, and all the other fact it might just be um, just smoothed in uh, it averages out the vertices in the wrong way so that's when you go back in with the tweak and just kind of move everything to be more uh, aligned with everything but basically that's all of the tools of retopperflow and eventually you want to you know cover this whole thing with faces have correct uh, topology uh, using references online um, or just um, just making sure that it's it's good in general um, using all of these tools but basically that is how you would do it um, you guys can complete uh, complete this fox but I'll have another file for like a humanoid frog man which will uh, which you guys can have a go at as well But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed learning about Retopperflow um, and I'll see you guys on the next video.